Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today I'm releasing my open hardware, open source, dual camera switcher. Now this takes a quad channel. However, it has a lot of room for improvements. And the reason why I've designed this is to make it work on a half a stack for quads and as well as airplanes, as you can tell right here. So I did go ahead and make it, test it and use it. And it's pretty reliable. So here's the PCB. We're gonna take a closer look in a bit on the table right now, but this is it. It's a half a stack with mounting holes you can mount over your flight controller, and it's very good. So it uses a four channel analog a digital switch for analog video and an AT tiny microcontroller unit, which can be programmed to do more than one thing. Uh, you can program it to obviously switch between two channels. You could even program it to switch automatically every five seconds. And I'll show you how to do that in a bit. Now let's take a closer look at how it runs so we can get an idea of what it actually does here. And I'll also show you some footage of when I used it when I was flying, which was really great. Uh, now let's talk about some of the specs here. Here we have the Hawkeye Firefly camera. And the reason why I chose this is because it has a special wire you can purchase and it'll output the video feed, which is really nice because we need two video feeds. So I also have a camera right there up in the front of the drone or the RC airplane. And I'll just go ahead and power this up and take a look at how it works. All right, so now I have everything connected and also recording the video feed so you can get an idea of what's really going on. So let's go to our controller here. All right, so everything is booted up right now. And what we're doing is we're looking through the camera that's right in the front, uh, which is this camera down here. And now if you wanted to switch over to the top camera, it'll be, it's very easy with just one switch with that switch right here. I could switch to the other camera. And now what I can do is I can move around the camera. So if I want to do look down, I can. And then I can look right or left as well. So I can go ahead and just take a look everywhere, which is really cool. And I can switch back. So another cool feature is we could program it. So that's what's really nice about this FPV cam switcher. You can do a lot of crazy cool things with it. And what's really nice about it is that we can, um, you know, it just gives you really beautiful video feed. Let me actually just walk around a little, maybe hopefully you guys can see it in action here. All right, now let's go for a little walk and then we can take a look at how this thing is functioning. So as you can tell, right now the gimbal is acting like a gimbal. So if I move like this, it's gonna give me beautiful feed always. Can you see the gimbal just staying in one position? Which is really nice here. And it follows the airplane wherever I go. So that's gonna be really cool. It gives really, really beautiful video feed. And um, what we're gonna do now is, I'm gonna show you some flight footage. And after that, we're gonna go ahead and check how to connect this board and how everything runs. So I'll see you back on the table. All right guys, so here's the board and it is very simple to set up. All you have to do is install two ICs here. We have the AT Tiny and the Texas Instrument a quad channel analog video switcher. And if you take a closer look here, everything is pretty much labeled, but some people might not know how to set this up. So let's take a closer look here. So cam out is the video, is the wire that's gonna go to your VTX, which is your video transmitter, because that will be sending out whatever signal you chose from either camera one or camera two. So here we have camera one, as you can tell, five volt in ground, which is cam is the video wire, which is the yellow wire. Cam two is the same thing. We have five volt camera, which is the signal from the second camera, and then the ground here. Now you might be like, okay, well, where's the capacitors? Where's the resistors? Where's the voltage regulators? Well, what's really cool about this is that on this side here, you give it the five volt. You can actually give the five volt anywhere. And what that does, that five volt will power up this IC, it'll power up this IC, and it'll even give the five volts to the uh, cameras from just one pad that's coming from your flight controller or your PDB. 
make sure it's five volt or everything else here will be burned basically so yeah you just give five volts and then it'll it'll route the five volts everywhere so you have to give this five volts and ground and here is the signal that's going to be coming in from your flight controller that will tell it uh, what channel to be on so either channel one or camera one or camera two and it's very easy all you got to do is just set up as a servo output one of them and then you plug it here and then you just uh, connect it to one of your uh, switches on your control very easy to do that it's not even that difficult so the way you're going to be programming this is through the Arduino and you're going to be running the Arduino ISP programmer to enable to program this and flash it for the first time and uh, everything held everything here is pretty much labeled 5 volt meso s clock uh, Mosey, ground, and reset. So there's a bunch of tutorials online. I'll even put your link. It's out of the scope of this because it'll just be a very long video. So I'll have a link to a tutorial of how to program one of these. And you just take my script and use it. I also have the GitHub links down below. And also, if you wanted to purchase this straight from PCBWay, you can totally do that. I'll have it set up on a shared project page so you can go ahead and just purchase it from there. And this is a huge shout out to PCBWay for sponsoring this for me, which is really nice of them. And well, that's it guys. It's really simple. There's nothing to it. And um, what I'm planning on doing with this actually, since we have a lot of real estate on the bottom, is adding a bunch of capacitors in order to clean the video feeds as well. And uh, I'll explain how I'm planning on doing that. So I'm planning on setting up a bunch of capacitors, which will take just battery voltage in the back. This will be like a V2 and it'll have also a five volt regulator. So it could power everything off here. And the capacitors will basically act as a capacitor, like a low E is our capacitor in a way. It'll just be a really fat capacitor array here for, or your RC drone, which is really good because that'll just give you video, clean video feed and it'll protect your overall components. So there's a lot of things we can do with this. And also a VTX switcher I'm planning on adding. So it's gonna be pretty cool. There's gonna probably be three revision of this. All this would be the most basic. And through the source codes that I'm releasing here, uh, you can actually modify this to run four cameras if you wanted to because this IC can take four cameras and it's a really quick IC as you can tell. You didn't even, you, it's very difficult for you to notice that I'm actually switching between the videos because it switches so nicely. And um, well, that's it guys. I'll have a link to everything down below. Please check those out. Those greatly support the channel. And, um, and well, that's it guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out guys.